Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Last Mumil and thank you so much for watching this video. So guys, welcome to the world of Gothic. We are finally starting Gothic 2. It's been a while since I last played Gothic. It's been like two weeks since I last played Gothic because I finished Gothic 1 um, two weeks ago. So please check it out if you want to see that and I'm starting Gothic 2. I had a lot of, a lot of problem with recording Gothic 1 and I also have a lot of problem which recording gothic 2 and I know how people fix that but I apparently can't fix it for example look at that something that blinks on the right top corner it, it starts blinking and I know what it is if you guys know how to fix that please tell me how to fix that because I don't know so if you know please tell me because I will appreciate it um I also installed the expansion Knight of the Raven which is an amazing expansion pack which kind of hardens the game but it also makes it a lot a lot better so I don't say this game is not good it's awesome but uh, yeah um, before we start one more thing um, please check out the world of gothic.com it's a great site that provides all the gothic information that you need so and it also comes with a forum so you go there uh, create your account on worldofgothic.com. It's an amazing site which provides pretty much all the information about Gothic 1, Gothic 2, Gothic 3 and every Gothic that came out including including Arcania and it has the best forum in the world because guys there are really friendly and they will help you in any way possible with Gothic. So if you, if you are starting this game go there and consult people a little bit what you need to do and what shouldn't you do so they will instruct you the better best so yeah um yeah that would be pretty much it about the 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 intro speech let's let's start the game um yeah new game i i think i did fix all the graphical problems and it's gonna be good now so yeah let's enjoy the game new game and it's gonna come with an with an intro scene probably so i'll probably shut up now okay A single prisoner altered the fate of hundreds, but he paid a high price for it. defeated the sleeper, destroyed the barrier. But while all the other prisoners escaped, he remained behind in the rubble. It was I who dispatched him against the sleeper. Now it is I who brings him back from there. He is weak and has forgotten much. But he is alive. Yay, I'm back! So, as you can see, Xardas saved us. Wow, there amazing. You are again. I never thought the two of us would meet again. I feel like I spent three weeks lying under a load of rocks. Well, you did. Well, so you did. Only the magic within your armor kept you alive. I had feared I might not be able to rescue you from the debris of the temple. But enough of that. You're here now. There's a new threat that we have to deal with. I think there's a second cutscene right now. After the fall of the barrier and the banishment of the sleeper, Belyar's wrath has grown even greater. A mighty artifact, so it is written in the old scriptures, will be brought back to this world. 
when the god of darkness sends his henchmen out to search. This search has long since begun. Belyar's henchmen are desecrating the oldest shrines of the gods. The guardians of these holy places have awakened, and their wrath makes the earth tremble. Every powerful magician on this island could sense this wrath. And some of them have certainly begun to face the threat. must become their ally. That's the only way to stop Belyar. At least we have enough time now. I did it. The sleeper has been banned. You vanquished him. So much is true. But it's not within our power to stop the war that ensues now. With his final furious scream, the sleeper has set into movement the armies of darkness. It was an order to all evil creatures, a word of power that they were all bound to obey. His Whoops, last my bad. Was, Come, and they came, all of them, even the dragon. Ah, shit. Dragons? They are creatures of an ancient power. I can sense their presence, even here. And they have gathered an entire army of lowly servant creatures around them. Where's this army now? The army is camped not far from here, in the Valley of Mines near Corinus, and they're getting ready to attack. We do not have much time left. Um, that's the place from the first gothic, the Valley of Mines, where we were in the colony, so... Yeah, I need weapons, like, ASAP. I need weapons. I can only give you whatever little I have here. Yeah, that'll Look do. Look around in my tower. Anything that looks useful to you, you can have. Ah, thanks, man. Um, yeah. What can we do? This time, we cannot handle it by ourselves. Ah, crap. Only the power of Innos will help us against these dragons. A group of paladins is stationed in the city of Corinus. Not far from here. They possess a powerful artifact which could help us to defeat the dragons. They call it the Eye of Innos. You need to get hold of this artifact. Tell the paladins about the threat. You must convince their leader to support us. And once you have talked to him, you need to find the artifact of Belyar. It is the counterpiece to the Eye of Innos. It must not fall into the hands of evil. Okay, so yeah, what is exactly his eye of Innos? Exactly uh, I need to find out. Innos. It's an amulet. Legend has it that Innos himself was poured part oh, of his power you said myself. into his amulet. It will restore some of your lost strength and help us defeat the dragons. It also has some other hidden powers. I shall tell you more about that once the amulet is yours. Yeah, piece of cake. Whatever. So, yeah. Why would the paladins give me the eye of Innos? because you are the one who is destined to wear it. How can you claim to know that? There are a number of reasons. The most important being, you have defeated the sleeper. If you weren't a favorite of the gods, you'd be dead by now. Let's assume you're right and I'm destined to bear the Eye of Innos. How would the paladins know that's true? The Eye itself chooses the one who may wear it. Once you get hold of it and put it on, the paladins cannot doubt your words any longer. Okay, so I need to get to How the can city. I get to the city. Just follow the path from here through the mountains. The city is large. You cannot miss it, but watch out. The path to town is not without dangers. And you aren't nearly as strong as you once were. Yeah, I can see that. So, let's finish this. I'll be on my way as fast as I can. And let's Good. set out and for a new adventure. Don't tell Finally. That you've talked to me. Above all, don't tell any magician. Don't worry, I won't. Since I have gone into exile, the circle of fire has taken me for dead, and that's a good thing. The Menace. Wow. Chapter 1. So here we go again. Surviving in the world of Gothic and then trying to... Yeah, beat the monsters. Okay, I'm gonna make a save game called Gothic 2 and probably make a backup save when I finish this re first recording. And I think that everything is gonna be good. So let's zoom in on the character. So... Oh, we have a new things yeah how do i it's the essence of healing wow i love it 
So apparently we can One craft work. now, but uh, I don't know how to do it. And we can make runes. Ooh, amazing. God damn it. I love this. Let's read a little bit. A uh, book stand. Is there anything worth reading? Oh, just a healing potion recipe. I think I know it. Can you stop reading? I need to... Nah, he won't stop reading. Okay, old stone tablet. Oh, can I talk hey. to you for a quick second? Uh... Yeah, there is, what the hell is this? Can you tell me anything about this stone tablet? First I suspected it might be a magical artifact, but I finally concluded that it is not of any great significance. I have not been able to decode the meaning of this tablet entirely, but it seems to concern the history of a very old culture. Ooh, if you want the tablet, intriguing, yours, yeah. I have no use for it. Oh, thanks, man. Um yeah, I, I could use I better equipment. equipment, and I'm sorry the if there is a lot of talking. Um, with every gothic, like in the beginning, there is a lot of talking before we get to action, and if you're not going to watch it, then uh, yeah, it's your choice. But uh, it's pretty fun and pretty exciting, so I suggest that you watch this. So, uh, where are we exactly? I don't have a clue. I forgot because I played this game a long time ago. I have rebuilt my tower here. In but three it's weeks? It's been a few days since we last saw each other in the Valley of Mines. The servants I summoned to build my tower have done a thorough job. Yeah, I can so definitely can see that. that. Wow. So what should we do next? We shall proceed as planned. There is no other way. You can go get yourself the Eye of Enos, and I shall keep looking for answers. Great. So... I don't know if this game has, um, how do I say that, save game? I don't know if that this has a save game, like with F6, like quick save. And I will see it by myself soon, but uh, w till now we're gonna use this good old save game that I can use. Oh, I can, uh, what with? oh, heavy branch. Is that a weapon? Yeah, that's definitely a weapon. Yeah, we have a branch. I can use it. Ooh, so... Graphics are good, they're better than Gothic 1, which is a uh, expecting thing to do, because uh, this is a newer game, but uh, still it's awesome. Uh, people say that Gothic graphics are shitty, but it is an old game, and basically I do love this gra these graphics, and... Uh, oh, get a key. I love these graphics, because they're kind of awesome. Oh. It's a statue of Beliar. Can I... Oh. Oh, shit. No, I don't want to pray. God damn it. Leave me alone. Shit. Let me use that again. I'm a little bit scared. Uh, I offered... No, I don't want to... I don't want to do that. I don't want to pray because I don't know what the hell is going on. So, let's see. Oh, my God. It's a long fall down there. So... And also, I don't know if this game is going to crash a lot. But uh, this... Probably the first episode is not e nothing exciting. Hunt and pray, blah blah blah, skinning, uh, nothing special. So this first episode is nothing really that special, but uh, later the game is gonna be awesome. Hunt and pray. Um, there is something about the blood flies, which is really exciting. Okay, let's get to another book. Um, I don't have time to read this, but if, if you want to read this, then pause the video and read it. Because it's a waste of time for a video and the hard disk capacity. And uh, I already read this earlier. Yeah, this is something about the island. So, the harbor city of Carinas lies on the island off coast of Kingdom Mertana. The island owes much of its fame to Valley of Mines. Its reputation is dubious as for many years a magic barrier spanned the entire valley which served as a prison for all convicts of the realm. Thus the valley became a prison colony where the convicts mined the g magic ore from below the ground. Outside of Carinus lie a series of farms which is good soil to plant wheat and turnips and breed sheep. For generations the largest farm has belonged to the landowner who rents the surrounding lands to other farmers. On the middle of the island is an ancient monastery Venus led by magicians of fire. They, they, there they conduct research of magic and alchemy and vine. Press vine, I don't know. Because they make vine, that's awesome, I like vine. Okay, let's look at the chest. We have some gold, which is uh, basically in Gothic 1. We, we have a, a dagger, if I'm not mistaken. A dagger which is uh, not really that good, but... Uh, in Gothic 1 we used ore as, uh, as a currency, but uh, 
right now we're gonna use gold for currency and I think that's a lot better because gold is basically money so I think that's a lot better and uh, because a barrier collapsed and you know that in the first gothic the mine the ore mine collapsed that means we're gonna have a, a little bit of ore so there is not gonna be much ore in the whole world and I can definitely say that because uh, ore is really really rare in gothic 2 but in gothic 1 we had it a lot we spent like so much in gothic 1 so let's see if I can find anything else here we have some water which I can really use uh, we have some torches which I will need to use because I think that a lot of, of gameplay is gonna go on the dark and uh, you know we need torches because the video itself is really dark uh, we have some torches we have some gold which I really need we have some heal light wounds and we have some fireballs which I can use that's awesome I love it okay anything uh, useful here mm, like gold we have some gold yes like every gold right now is precious so we are gonna collect everything uh, and think we have some gold here thank you um, we have a uh, blue elder woodland berry healing plant uh, fire nettle dark mushroom healing blah 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 and if I'm not mistaken I did play this long ago but I think there is a secret passage over here in in this tower that leads somewhere but I don't know where oh we have some dragon root we have some meadow berries blue elder uh, woodland berry a lot of herbs that's amazing okay let's go back I think there is a secret passage like something here and uh, it's been a long time and I don't really remember where it was. I think there was somewhere near the bed. But uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. And uh, we already spent 15 minutes here and uh, I think it's gonna be awesome. Mm. Oh, there it is. There's the button. And I don't know what it opens, but... Uh... Ah, there it is. There is a secret passage and everything. We have a potion and we have a chest which is has got gold and some fireballs. Because I don't need to sell them, I need money right now. The first thing that we need is money, food, weapons and armor. So these are the things that we need. First we need money.